Hey there, I wanted to make a quick video showing the two AMS systems from Bamboo Lab. You have the AMS, which is compatible with the P1P, P1S, and X1C. You have the AMS Lite. This one is compatible with the A1 and A1 Mini. Now both of them have the RFID readers. It is used to identify Bamboo Lab's own spools. It'll automatically put the color and filament type. Inside the spools you have this here. This is the load chip inside. This is an empty row, as you can see it. And this is this only works if you put in Bamboo Lab's own spools. You can use different ones, but it doesn't have the RFID chip. They both offer filament backup, meaning that if you're running a certain color and that color runs out, it'll continue onto the next spool the same color. So you can just continue printing without stopping. One thing to note is the, sp the spools have to match exactly. So if you, it has to be the same color and filament type. Otherwise the system will not automatically jump to the next color. This is the AMS light. This one works with the A1 and the A1 mini. You can only hook up one AMS light per printer. You can print up to four colors. The spools are open to the atmosphere. And as you can see, my humidity inside this room is 47, means the spools are at 47 and they will slowly start getting more humidity the longer they're exposed. I usually try to take them off and dry them every three to four weeks, depending on use. Sometimes they won't even last two days, depending on what I'm printing. This can take many different types of spools. It all depends on your diameter. This is your spool holder here. It can accommodate different sizes, but you can some, if they're too big, you can print out adapters for it. You do have the option of removing these off and printing smaller ones. So far, I've been able to use, of course, the bamboo spools. Majority of cardboard spools I've used have worked. The only issue with those is after taking them on and off a couple times, the inside of the cardboard will start wearing out and they'll be loose. It's not much of an issue depending how you have your, your system positioned. As you can see, mine is angled down, the front ones, they will start falling off, which is why I have this on here. Now the system feeds the filament through these lines. It holds the filaments right here. Whenever you're gonna do a filament change, it just pulls it right into the head, takes it out, and whenever you do another one, pulls it right up to this section, right up here, and pulls the other one. It's very fast. It's quicker than the AMS. Now this is the AMS. This one can be used with the X1C, the P1S, and the P1P. This system, you can link up to four AMS units and print up to 16 colors. This is an enclosed unit and it does have, you do have the option to put desiccant packs inside or as you can see like I did, you can print these out and fill them up with desiccant beads and that'll keep it dry. The box right now is at 18% humidity. I do have to recharge the beads soon. This one, inside diameter, doesn't matter much. What matters is the width and size of the spools. Majority of the spools I've gotten have been able to load without a problem. Of course, cardboard spools, the issue is that cardboard will start wearing out and you'll get a bunch of dust inside and can start clogging up your system. If they're bent, they'll start wobbling and it'll cause filament to tangle or a feeding issue. To feed this one, simple, just drop your spool in, run the line, Press this little tab right here, it'll automatically pull it in and start feeding. One thing with this unit is that <clears throat> it keeps all the filament and the changes are done inside the unit. So to the back, you only have one line that comes out. It goes through the sensor, 
buttons here and then into the printer every single time you're gonna do a filament change it has to pull the line all the way back into the unit change it then pull the new the new line back in it takes a little longer for the AMS to switch colors compared to the AMS light having to travel all this compared to here big difference but either one works it all depends on what you want to use you're great with this with the AMS, I throw in my I throw in my spools, and I don't worry about them until they run out because it keeps it dry. With the AMS light, I do have to worry every now and then, but honestly, it's rare that'll keep a spool longer than two three weeks. If it does happen, throw it in my dryer, and it's good to go. There you go. Hope this helps.